next, we got Chief Meme Officer. Talking about meme today. Pretty hyped for this one. Yeah. How are you, Mr. Meme Officer? Mr. Meme Officer. <laughs> <laughs> officer of the memes. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Right, so, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Tired getting this drop ready, but almost <laughs> all done. JW has a meme drop coming up. <laughs> hey, you do too. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm, excited. I'm, ex I'm so excited for both drops. They're going to be awesome. Yeah, it's cool that we were able to, we didn't even mean to time it together. But it's cool that we we're like going on the same week. Yeah, it's funny because I've been talking to both of you, I think for a couple months now, right? And yeah. It just kind of lined up. Um, <laughs> and then we're doing a podcast to kind of, we could, we could talk about both drops. That's pretty, pretty cool. Heck yeah. Yeah, for sure. Get them both, talk about them both from the start. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess if you don't mind, can you just explain meme, how it works? And like, I don't know, maybe keep in mind, like maybe my mom's listening and like try to think about like how someone like her could like figure out meme, you know? Yeah, that's that's a really great way to, to phrase it because um, yeah, my mom has no idea what's going on. My wife has no idea what's going on. Oh uh, but I'll, I'll I'll try as best as I can. So I mean, it's when when you know, without getting too deep into the weeds of like even crypto and blockchain and stuff, it's like I mean, it's probably some some of the conversations that you guys are having with the NFT art. But if you imagine that, like, okay, digital art is a concept, and you can now prove ownership of digital art. There's this thing called the blockchain, don't worry about it, but it allows us the ability, you know, this technology gives us the ability to say, you person there, you own this art and you're the only one or you're one of 10 or whatever, right? So we're able to track this art for the first time ever. We have the ability to um, like prove uniqueness and rarity and ownership of digital content for the first time ever. It's pretty crazy. So take the next step, which is, you know, up until now, it's kind of been uh, a situation where in order to get this digital art, you had to, you had to pay money, you had to, you had to pay ETH or some other token to, to buy this from the artist or from the previous owner. What meme does is kind of flip it on its head. And it uses some other, some of these other techniques to um, almost provide a way for the average user to get involved and you don't have to spend a bunch of ETH to get this art. Uh, there's this practice called staking. All you really do is you just deposit funds for a period of time. You're not buying, you're not selling, you're just depositing uh, money. And it's almost like kind of a safety deposit box or some other financial asset where you're just like putting your money there for a period of time. And over time you're earning points, almost like reward points or, or uh, airline miles or something like that. So you have these points and then after a certain period of time, when you have enough points, you're able to redeem these points for this digital art. So that's it. Uh, we Our goal really is to like democratize ownership of NFT art, really distribute it to a wider audience, get new users involved. It just so happens to be a little bit more complicated at the moment because all this stuff is really complicated where you have to like go get this token and you have to deposit it. And we, we're aware that it's not maybe, maybe not the most uh, like new friendly platform, but we're working on ways to just like make it super clean and easy because that's what we want to do. I mean, the goal is to get amazing art, like like some of the stuff that you guys produce into the hands of, uh, of like as many people as possible, create collectors. Um, I just want to spread the kind of the awareness and the enjoyment and transfer some of the enthusiasm to as many people as possible. I love that. Yeah, it's been great recently. Like um, a lot of my friends from high school and like university have hit me up and they said they're interested in this drop because they can actually like afford it. Right. Right. And I think that's what I'm most excited about. It's just like, I have my group of collectors on super rare, but then I want to like, I want to have like stuff for people at all different price points. Right. So I think that's like the biggest value you guys offer. Yeah. At the end of the day, we want to be artist friendly too. Um, so that's why we, you know, we, we do these drops um, that are almost like a nod to the, the, the collector. Um, 
And then we follow it up with like a one of one auction. So we kind of want to, you know, touch all the bases and make sure that they're just, just different ways. If you, if you're fine being one of 100, that's cool. Or if you want the one of one and you're willing to, to pay a little bit more, then you can have that too. So we kind of, yeah, we kind of just want to just kind of, uh, yeah, approach it where we're just like serving a bunch of different audiences. Yeah, for sure. Um, how long have you been doing meme? I know it's like, it's pretty new, right? Yeah, it's really new. Uh, it's, I think it's just like four months now. I think we recently <gasps> just- Four wow. months, Jesus. Four whole months, which is an eternity in crypto. Um, <laughs> but it's crazy just to think like four months ago, like, you know, this was summer of 2020, everyone like 2020 means something different to a lot of different people. And I mean, it's a pandemic and stressful at times. Right. And then this kind of crazy project comes comes from nowhere, essentially. And then all of a sudden, uh, I'm part of this crazy, crazy community and crazy team that are experimenting with NFT art and getting to work with amazing artists like you guys um, and so many others and so many cool people in this space. And uh, just getting just like I've been aware of the NFT scene for a while. I was uh, I was involved in CryptoKitties back in 2017, so I've been around. Um, but it wasn't until the meme project where I really got like deep with the NFT scene and the art and the artists and just the community. It's so refreshing just the people that are here for the art and for the cool tech that it allows us and not necessarily trying to, you know, squeeze out every last dollar. Um, I've been involved in, on the DeFi side for a while. Uh, so it's been, it's been quite a cool change of pace where it's like, this is so much more fun and, so, and just so exciting to be part of this stuff. Totally. Does your family think you're crazy? Cause oh, like yeah. even explaining crypto stuff to like my crypto friends, sometimes they get confused. Yeah. Well, I've, yeah, I've been talking about Bitcoin for years and years now. Uh, and it's just recently where like people, my friends are calling me up. Oh yeah, what was that again? Now that they see it on the news and everything. So yeah, it's yeah. always been a battle to like, you know, this stuff's really cool. I don't want to shill it because you could actually end up losing a lot of money with all the volatility. I'm just here to to like help make it easier for people. I'm like, my son gets it, my daughter gets it because they're they're young and they're already dealing with like V bucks and Roblox or Robux, right? So they already get like. Um, this digital currency because they that's their economy right so yeah it's it's difficult for her it seems in general and this is a generalization but like yeah the older you are the harder it is just to kind of rock because you've you've been living in this world where like only countries can print money and only the bank is what is what distributes the money or holds the money um, only these large corporations can tell me it's okay to get a credit card loan um and, and we're just like flipping it on its head. So yeah, as like a super curious guy, it's it's been so much fun. But yeah, don't don't even get me started on like explaining pineapples to to friends and family. <laughs> they just know that I'm obsessed with pineapples now. And um yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I was here. about to bring that up. I've got I got pineapples all over the place. <laughs> Let me see if I can oh my goodness. It's show and tell. So that's Oh, sick. That's you. Me, me as a pineapple. That's so cool. I love that. I love that you have that. <laughs> right? Yeah, my wife made that for me for my birthday. She just, you know, I, I woke up one morning and it, like the whole place was just covered in like pineapple stuff <laughs> and, uh, and everything. Can Great. you explain briefly? I'm sure you've, you have to explain this like every time, but where does the pineapple pineapple come from? It's just stupid it's <laughs> like all this stuff it comes back to the meme right like when we right. started the meme project so without spending a ton of time because uh we could talk about this for hours like this whole concept kind of originated from a tweet that i made back in august um so i made the silly tweet i designed this interface of a product that didn't really exist but i pretended it did i, I mocked up this product that, that that was in DeFi, and at the time there was this DeFi project called Yam, and they used the Yam emoji. So it was kind of a riff on that, and I just happened to pick the pineapple emoji. Um, so this tw this tweet is very 
niche inside crypto type of tweet. It goes viral in the in the Ethereum and Bitcoin um, universe. It was like a quarter million impressions in a couple of days or something. It like spun out of control. I created a Telegram group. Um, so we had a bunch of like passionate people in this space, in this Telegram group early on. And we're like, hey, let's do something. What should we do? Okay, let's create a token. Uh, let's call it the meme token. All right. Uh, since this kind of whole thing started from my sarc like my satirical tweet, let's use the the pineapple as our logo. And it just kind of snowballed from there. So we 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 had the meme first, then the community. Uh, and then we're, essentially we're like, well, we should actually probably go build something, right? What's what's cool, what's memeable, what's meme worthy? Well, NFT art is awesome. And um, at the time, there was something in DeFi called yield farming, which is kind of some of the, the similar mechanics that you'll see in meme. Um, and we're like, yeah, let's let's mash up yield farming with NFTs and let's see what happens. So yeah, then we built the first version of uh, the meme platform in just a few days. It was actually 10 days from concept to mainnet Ethereum. It was almost like a hackathon project where me and a few developers built this thing out. We didn't think much of it, but the whole concept was you stake meme tokens, you earn pineapple points, and then you're able to redeem those pineapple points for NFT art. And at the time it was uh, just the one Genesis pool. And then we just kept growing and building and then started working uh, directly with artists and doing these exclusive drops. And the whole thing has just kind of gone out of control just in, in yeah, four months when four months ago it was, it was nothing. It was just a silly joke. Um, so that's like even crazier that this wasn't planned. This wasn't thought through. It just kind of was like a spark of magic. And then it kind of turned into what it is now. Just 20 meme started as a meme. That, exactly. That's amazing. That's why the art is always fun. And we always try to have fun with it, right? Um, all just comes back to having fun. I mean, it's amazing art, it's amazing tech. Uh, a lot of really smart people working on this thing. But at the end of the day, it's like, let's just remember like where this came from. It came from a meme. Let's just keep having right. fun. So yeah, it's yeah. really fun. Yeah, I really, I like the curation on the site. It's like all, yeah, it's like all very pure and funny art. And a lot of my work is like that. And I feel like this is a good fit for me. Like I don't really make serious and like deep art a lot of the times. So this is like the perfect fit. Yeah, it's perfect. I, I, uh, I really enjoyed a lot of your stuff with the cows and the, what it was uh, a dog on some Coke cans or something, right? Some of these pieces, I'm like, oh yeah, this guy's perfect. He's perfect for us. I love it. So um, you got Sven. I can't remember their name. Eberwine, I think is how it's. Yeah, wrong. that was your first um, like meme drop artist. That was our first artist drop. So yeah, we were we were around a couple of weeks with our Genesis drop, which was more like trading cards, uh, kind of characters of people in the crypto space. Um, Vitalik, the creator of Ethereum, he had a card, and uh, a bunch of uh, a bunch of these other like personalities in crypto had had a card but it wasn't until talking to Sven we're like wow this could actually be like an art platform uh because he loves what we were doing um he kind of caught the vision and we love his stuff and it was less like caricature type of illustration and it was more like no dude this this guy is an amazing artist 3d artist at that 3d animated artist and um, he loved the pineapple stuff and he just went, kind of went all in and did some amazing work. So yeah, I think that kind of put us on the map in terms of like, okay, they're more than just like this silly weekend project, DeFi, you know, DAP. And they're, and, you know, they're actually doing something legit in like the art side. So I think that collab was, was really big for us and it was great working with him. Yeah, totally. That's how I found you guys, so. I guess I've Same. known about you since the start. I'd be in calls and stuff, and all I hear is, do you hear about meme? Do you know what meme is? It's this pineapple yep. thing. Do you understand it? I said, no, tell me about it. And <laughs> it's all people would talk about. And I think that's so cool that now we're talking and we're doing these drops together. 
Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I'm so I'm so excited to work with you too, Phil. I mean, it's just going to be like a cool cycle because you know this this started out as a joke, and then we got a little bit more credibility, a little more a little bit more momentum and excitement with with Sven. Um, and yeah, if you would have told me just a few months ago when we started talking that we'd be able to work together on something cool and do like amazing art and not just something that's like like throwaway stuff or you know like we're we're talking to some of the top uh artists in the space including you guys and um it's crazy it's crazy to think of i'm i'm, I'm just so excited i saw that yeah. john norlander drop when he posted it i said "Ooh, i want to be with me <laughs> that's so cool that got me so excited yeah, i love his work yeah just took it up another level with like and he caught it right away and, and he did 3d pineapple right and then um but he still had you know a ton of had a ton of fun with it i want to keep working with him as well I, I keep bugging all the artists we've worked with like let's do more let's do more <laughs> and we try to keep this cadence of like once a week a new artist and sometimes it's hard to like tell people sorry we're booked up like i gotta put you we gotta put you you know in in january but yeah, the rest of January, like into January, we're, we're already booked with like artists that are lining up. So it's really exciting stuff. You got people coming on. That's pretty, that's, that's huge. Oh man, that's another just like mind blowing thing that we, that we got people. I mean, yeah, I assume that you guys kind of were following along with that. Um, so yeah, he did his drop last week, right? Um, on Nifty Gateway. Which is just insane, right? I think he ended up selling like three and a half million or something like that in just a weekend. Crazy. Granted, it's years and years <laughs> of his work, and he did a, a bunch of stuff that he's been working on, but um, just mind blowing. Uh, and I've been talking to people as as well, kind of right around when the when he started getting into NFTs. You know, he did an Ethereum piece that he posted on his Instagram a couple months back. That was right around the time where meme was starting to get big. And he just happened to do that, uh, that one. The pineapple one? The pineapple piece, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, it's it's the background on my phone. Oh my oh, God. Oh, sick. Anyways. That's, awesome. That's such a nice piece. Yeah, so he does that piece, the undersea uh, SpongeBob house piece. He just happened to pick a pineapple. He just happened to do it that day. And everyone took to his Twitter and his Instagram. They're like, is this like, is this a meme piece? Is this, is this a meme col collab? Everyone assumed it was a meme collab. Um, and I'm like, no, but like, let's make it happen. Um, so I reached out to, to people and I'm like, dude, we got to talk. Everyone thinks we're working together. Let's, 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 let's chat. And we ended up talking and then this was maybe a month or two ago. And then a couple of weeks ago, he tells me what's going on with the, his like physical appro approach to like selling the physical tokens with the screen and everything. And one of the pieces was that work. And then he's like, dude, let's do something crazy. If this one sells for 69 grand, then 100% I'm doing a collab with me. And then he, like in on the site, it said that as well. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. And he locked it in already because he put 69 grand. I'm like, is, do you think I can get him to, to like lower that price? Because that's, mm -hmm. dude, that's like double what someone makes in a year. Like there's, there's no way, but sure enough, like it passed 69K pretty quickly and ended up selling for like 115,000, wow. something like that just for one NFT of a work that he did a few months ago. And the, the, the owner is going to get this little plaque thing. Amazing. Right. And then it was like, well, I guess we're working together. And he, he was kind of pushing forward on that. Yeah. hundred percent locked in. So it's early and uh, we're trying to figure out what's the best, like what, what can we do with people that just going to like blow everybody's minds. Um, Cause I mean, he just blew everyone's minds with the last, with his last drops. It's like, right. What, what is, and there's certain expectations, meme plus people. What is what is that? What does that mean? So I think we've got our work cut out for us, but super excited to be working with with him. Uh, he's just an awesome dude. That's so yeah. interesting. It's only recently. I when he posted that, I thought y'all were working together. That's so yeah. I didn't Everybody know. did. It's so funny how uh, we 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 own a fruit now. Any <laughs> anytime you see a fruit, I have friends that are just they'll see a fruit, they'll see a pineapple on a random spot and they'll take a picture of it and send it to me 
or they'll buy me gifts or something because it's got a pineapple. So it's funny that like just memes, even just emojis in general, just like visual, visual communication um, and just the power of a symbol <laughs> it can have. Right. Um, it's it's insane. Yeah, I got the cow. I yeah. probably get like I don't know two to ten DMs a day of like cool cow photos, and every time someone sees one, they send them my way and all my gifts. I get like cow themed gifts now. <laughs> I didn't think it would stick this much. I'm not mad. And, that, and now you've got the Easter Island head, the rock head. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I guess to go back to Beeple real quick, I was curious if you think like the surge of NFT based art, do you think that has any relation to why Bitcoin's doing so well? Or I guess crypto? That's a really great question. I hadn't thought of it that way. Um, when we kind of step back and, and look at like, market cycles of Bitcoin and crypto in general. It's kind of like shorthand to say every three years, it's a market like cycle. So we're in 20, at the end of 2020, right? At the end of 2013, three years ago, that's when we saw the previous all-time high of Bitcoin and, and Ethereum. And then it kind of took this cycle or it was, a, it, was a, it was down for the last few years. And then now it's back up to new all-time highs. So it does kind of fit this pattern of, every three years, but something has to drive that, right? And I think a lot of things are kind of coming together. I think one of the one of the factors is like, it's additional use case, right? It's more than just financial, it's more than just money and buying and selling with Bitcoin, it's digital gold, right? With Ethereum, you can do a bunch of other like financial apps, but we're seeing even like a bunch of new use cases with the popularity of NFTs, not just art, even though that's going to be huge and then that's going to grow and that's going to be just in the next couple of years, hundreds of millions of dollars in, uh, in volume um, just in the next couple of years. But we're seeing lots of other applications for NFTs with gaming and things like that. And VR is now a thing. I, I just watched your guys' podcasts on VRs. I just got an Oculus too myself. Heck so, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm totally geeking out there, but it's like all these things coming together that they all use NFTs and they all use this tech. And for a lot of the things that we're talking about, right, it's all built on Ethereum. So we're seeing Ethereum. It's like all these things coming together and it's just so cool. Um, I, don't, I know we can talk for a while on the VR stuff, but I got I feel like I have, there's so many things I need to download and they're all like 20, 30 bucks. I'm like, geez, this is, this is crazy. This is not like an iPhone game. This is like a console game, but so worth it. Like, I don't know if I ever need to get a, another console when you have Oculus, right? Yeah. Like even like a PS5 now compared to an Oculus 2, like Been there, I take that. the VR every day. Uh, yeah. I've been playing uh, VR golf a lot. That, that one's got me hooked. I saw you post. You were like, I just played six hours of VR golf. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that was on my private story. You weren't supposed <laughs> to do that. I was like, I'm happy he likes it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that's why this meme drop got delayed a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we got we're uh, speaking of VR. We're we're doing something with Decentraland where you can have meme wearables. It's like a pineapple onesie, and you can be walking around Decentraland in like pineapple clothes. It's gonna be awesome. There's some really interesting stuff happening with Decentraland right now, and I'm, I didn't know about that, but I'm really hyped for that now. And we're talking to, to uh, Terra Virtua, which is in this other platform. Uh, there'll be some like exclusive collabs with both Terra Virtua and Decentraland in the coming weeks. Mm. So many crazy cool things going on in this in this space. Yeah, I kind of forget that we're so early. Like I didn't. Yeah. To me, like I always thought meme has been around since the start. Like it's insane that we hopped on this early grateful well the community yeah. is so big it seems like it's been around forever yeah. yeah and i think like people joke like oh a week in real life is a month in crypto time but like that's so true like so much changes throughout the month it just feels like forever <laughs> things are moving so fast right it's hard to keep up with what's going on for me like on the tech side with with DeFi and crypto and ethereum and all the new technology advancements and then you look at what's going on, on the art side and all the different advancements and nfts and then 
every other day there's like this amazing drop that I want to just like ape into right like I it was hard to like not participate in the Trevor Jones pack oh my god lab yesterday I was like dude I just bought some people stuff like I gotta I gotta you can't buy everything <laughs> like I gotta I gotta take it take it slow here but like there's so many cool things going on at all times um it's moving so fast but you're right it's so early because think of like all the artists all the digital artists that aren't even here yet and then they're going to bring in a bunch of collectors and fans and products like ours make it even more accessible to these new users and then the new fans bring more artists and, like this this is early days i mean who, who knows what's going to happen but like it just i get, i get a sense that we're just, we just barely scratched the surface here. Yeah, no, I relate to that. And especially the more I read about it and like see all the crazy stuff going on, I have a lot more faith in like how this stuff's going. Cause I know a lot of people, they hear about like crypto art, like, oh, that's cool. Like I'll try it out, but it might not be here next week. And uh, I definitely don't feel that way anymore. Maybe when I started, I didn't really know about it. Yeah. I was like, it was such a crazy idea. Like, how is this a thing? But now, like, I've seen it, I've used it, I've experienced it. Like, it makes sense to me. <laughs> and uh, it makes me so sad that people, like, they get scared of it when they're like, that's not real. No way, it's real. It's too good to be true. And then they get scared about it. It's like, no, it really is that amazing. The community is amazing. It's the technology is crazy. I don't know how to explain it to you right now, but do a Google search. I swear it's awesome. <laughs> Uh, that was me just like finding out about um, Bitcoin back in uh, 2013, 2014 and then Ethereum a couple of years ago. It's like, I got to tell everyone, I don't want them <laughs> like losing money because it's crazy. But like this tech, it's hard to imagine things that didn't exist before, right? Because everything is built on itself. Uh, internet has been around since like the 60s. It was really like, scaled down but like computers were talking to each other and it feels like everything's been built on its own or like using previous works blockchain like didn't exist 12 years ago right and it and it's just like revolutionized everything it's now this trillion dollar thing and so many smart people are working in this space but most of my friends don't get it and it's crazy right? even my more technical friends like my my the tech bros they're like it's it's risky it's uh it's a pyramid scheme right it's ponzi whatever um it's it's some, it still can be hard and it's it's just a shame that like people are waiting for the right signals the right companies or visa to get involved or whatever but they're missing out on all this fun all this opportunity all this upside um yeah same same thing with art it's like once you get it and it's 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 kind of they they use the phrase a lot kind of diving into the rabbit hole. Have you guys heard that and like yeah. describing to your friends? Because it's like this world that didn't exist before and now you're just kind of following in and trying to consume all this information and doing a bunch of research and just the hope just keeps going and going and then you enter this new world. It's, it's uh, the same can be true, I mean, across the board with crypto in general and then art, which is like so many cool things going on and it's so early. So funny, I was yeah. explaining NFT art and I said, okay, NFT art is really cool, but there's this stuff where it's like NFT land. <laughs> and they said, excuse me, <laughs> I don't get it. You got to ease people into the NFT. <laughs> I just get so excited. Stuff. I want to tell them everything. I remember you explaining NFT art to me. And I was kind of getting it. I mean, this is before anything, obviously, right? And then you were like, oh, yeah, like NFT cars and like. <laughs> maybe food someday like who knows i'm like i don't even understand the art part yet <laughs> yeah and maybe yeah i would yeah. ease into that <laughs> probably start by it's explaining so the exciting art part. and i feel crazy yeah. like i am learning all this stuff all of the time on twitter i'm talking to these amazing people and then i'm talking to friends and they don't understand and i'm like so much is happening i want you to feel my knowledge <laughs> yeah i probably have like three friends in real life that i can talk to this about and like even then they're not that into it so yeah it's definitely nice having a community based around it so i don't sound crazy um 
I can't believe we haven't talked about this, but I guess we should explain how our drop's going to work. And um, yeah, just talk about our drops a bit more. Yeah, so for the next couple of Tuesdays, so we have uh, Jonathan and you next Tuesday, uh, this is the 22nd, right? And then Belocious on the 29th, the following Tuesday. Um, we're going to be doing these, what we call meme artist series. So it'll be another drop in the meme artist series. It'll be numbers seven and eight, I believe. Um, and it's a unique drop. I mean, you're your, your viewers are probably familiar with the Nifty Gateways and some of these other drops, right? Ours is a little bit different. So the, the user is going to have to have meme token. So this is a, a separate token. So you have Ethereum, and then you have these other tokens built on Ethereum. Ours is meme, it's dollar sign meme. You can search for that. Uh, and then when you have this token, this is like the, uh, the project token. It kind of works on our platform. Um, but you're staking the token. So when we launch the Jonathan drop, uh, there will be a dedicated pool, which just means collection um, and you know destination. And what the user does is they take these meme tokens that that are, that are in their MetaMask wallet, and they deposit these tokens for a short for a short term uh, to the meme smart contract. Smart contract is just a nice way of like. It's this computer program that's going to hold your assets and start giving you pineapple points. Um, so you'll visit the site. You'll see uh, that we're doing the Jonathan Wolf or a ferocious drop. You click into it, connect your MetaMask wallet, and uh, deposit the meme tokens. And then uh, over time, we're talking a few days uh, to a week or 10 days, um, you're earning, by having your money locked up, you're earning points, we call them pineapple points. They're credits or, um, you know, airline miles kind of points. Uh, and then you're, we'll have a few different pieces. So in the example of, of you guys, you'll have three individual pieces. One, there will be a quantity of 500. Another will be a quantity of 100. And then the third will be a quantity of 10. Um, and each of these, depending on the rarity, you need a certain amount of pineapples to get. So what usually happens is it's like fine, uh, 15 pineapples for the for the one in 500. I think it's 30 for the middle tier and then 45 for the 10 of 10. And it's almost like a race against the community because you want to be one of the first ones to get in there so that when you have enough pineapples, you can be the first to mint. So it's this gamified thing. Um, if you don't want to race and you don't want to be play a part of that, you just want to get some cool art, take your time, stake your meme, earn some pineapples, go for one of the items. Uh, so it's yeah. So instead of going and buying it, you're able to just kind of lend your money out, lend your meme tokens, earn these points, uh, farm or mint or mine or redeem these NFTs, and then once you've got the NFT, you can take your money out. So you didn't exchange meme. For the meme token for art, you just kind of locked it up for a little bit. You earned the NFT art, and now it sits in your wallet. Um, does that make sense? I, I'm, I'm it trying does to make break. sense. Okay, cool. It's just another cool way of like distributing this stuff, right? Just trying. What's so cool is that like we're at this experimental phase um, where we're just trying a bunch of different things. Sometimes we put fees on it to make sure that the artist is getting paid fairly. Other times, you know, we can randomize it. So it's almost like participating in like a raffle. Uh, for each of you guys, we're gonna do an auction. So in addition to the pool of three pieces, we'll just do a one of one auction and users will place bids uh, in the meme token. And um, so you still have to go acquire the meme token. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be, you know, 24 hour auction in the auction. If any new bid, it resets the timer for like five more minutes. So you still kind of get these auction mechanics where people are bidding against each other. We just had one today with Diego Rodriguez, um, another amazing meme cola art. I don't know if you guys saw that with the meme cola. It's like yeah. this vintage Coke ad type of thing. And we just had another one of these pieces auction off. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's gonna be super cool. Be sure to visit don'tbuymeme.com next Tuesday. 
uh, follow the visit the website to get get a breakdown of everything. Follow us on Twitter, join the Telegram or Discord, and we'll be posting announcements leading up to both drops. But it's going to be so hot, like it's going to. Every, everyone in our community is really excited to get their hands on uh, on work from from both of you guys. It's going to be so much fun. That made me really happy when you guys posted it and just seeing like all the nice responses and everyone hyped about it. Me and Jonathan nice. were in a call and I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw that it was posted and I said, oh my God, JW, go to Twitter. He said, hold on, I'm typing. And I said, go to Twitter right now. <laughs> and he went to Twitter and just clicking on the quote tweets or the comments of people just being so hyped. It's, I mean, I was excited anyway for this meme drop. I was just seeing the other artists and hearing people talk about it and their passion towards it. I was hyped. And it was so surreal to hear about this thing all the time. And then now you're part of it, which is already a crazy thing. Just like texting you, showing you the art pieces. And then now it's out in the world. People know and they're excited. I was like, whoa, this is happening. What's going to happen? So pumped, guys. And I, I've seen kind of previews of each of, this, uh, of your pieces and they look amazing. And I know, Jonathan, you just shared one of them on Twitter not too long ago. And the reaction from the community already is like, bang, this is like, I mean, we've had some really good artists on the platform now, but it's still just like, it's so great to be be able to work with you guys. Like I was geeking out too. I'm like, I've, I've been following you guys for a couple months now. And it's like, you know, and, and I, I bought some prints of Pelocious, right? I got my own little sketch. I bought a few smaller pieces um, from J-Dub. But uh, to be able to like, actually collab with you guys on this crazy project that I built is it's just insane like I I'm, I'm so excited if you can't tell yeah I feel the same way I'm so happy to be like the seventh person like in a year from now like might be in the hundreds or something like that that's cool I got I got below yeah. 10 and you got in before people <laughs> true that's crazy <laughs> that is crazy damn um I think we covered most of my questions. I did have one last question though. Um, I know you do more than just meme, but meme seems like it's taking off. It's doing really well. You have a family, you do other stuff besides meme. How do you manage your time? Yeah. I've been like, I have no idea. Yeah, you're right. I, I actually do work at Consensus. Um, so Consensus is, is kind of one of the one of the biggest projects, one of the biggest companies in crypto at large. It's founded by one of the one of the founders of, uh, of Ethereum itself. So it's a big name in the crypto space. Uh, I'm a product lead, work on a, a several projects. Um, but with Meme, they've kind of given me the flexibility of like, hey, go explore that. That's kind of cool. So while, while it isn't a consensus project, they're, uh, they've kind of given me some leeway to kind of push the meme project forward and lots of things that can be done in terms of like collaborations and um, you know because they they uh they own metamask they own a bunch of other cool projects in the space so lots of opportunities for collabs um but yeah i mean by day i'm also working on a couple of other projects i'm working on some stuff with the metamask team uh you're right i have a family and <laughs> Two young kids. Well, they're they're eleven and nine, so things are definitely interesting. Um, it makes it easier when it's like fun, you know. You've been on projects where it's just kind of taking its toll, and there have been times for sure this year. But um, when a lot of my time is going to me and this like crazy experimental stuff, and I'm able to talk to really creative people and um, get into this art stuff. It's like it's like now all of a sudden there's not enough time in the day. Um, like I feel it's only been four months. We've done a lot, but imagine if we all were like full time, because uh, we're kind of doing this on the side a little bit. My a lot of my time it's taken up more and more of my my waking hours. But um, it's like imagine if we could like level up and have like a whole team dedicated to like some of the other projects out there. So yeah, we're talking to a number of people about like where to take this. Uh, what's the next step for me as like a community, as like a company? What does that mean? Um, but it's been it's been crazy. It made easier 
that it's just a ton of fun. Meme MetaMask collab. I can see it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> awesome. All right, man. I really appreciate this. Thanks for having us on Meme and thanks for being on here. Yeah. I, I'm just, again, I've said it a million times. I'm just so excited to, to kind of work with you. Thanks for having me on the show. Long, long, first time, long time, first time visitor, long time listener. Uh, <laughs> I've caught most of the podcast, so I'm just totally geeking out that I'm here. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. For sure. All right. Art, art, art. Episode 11, 12. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs>